Russell Fork Pharmacy is your locally owned pharmacy, offering fast, friendly service with competitive prices and free delivery. Call 606-754-7085. Visit RussellForkPharmacy.com and download our free mobile app for refill requests and more. According to the Floyd County Judge Executive Robert Williams, multiple dogs were removed from their owner's property in the tram area due to a call they received stating that the dogs were being neglected. I was in the area, so I figured I would go ahead and drive up there and take a look at the animals and see if they, if they needed to be removed. And Pretty quickly we determined that they needed to be removed. We got in touch with the animal control officer here in Floyd County, had him come out and remove the animals from the home. And um, you know, I, I try to be fair with folks. I don't want to belittle and, and embarrass people these situations. You, you know, uh, it's not a right to own an animal, it's a privilege. And taking care of, if you can't take care of them, let's get them over to the pound to find them a home where they can be taken care of. Uh, there's actually some extenuating circumstances. He just came into possession of the animals uh, less than a month ago. He's had them to the vet, trying to doctor them back to health, but they don't seem to be putting on weight uh, as quick as they should. So we're, we're going to work with them and, uh, and, and, and kind of monitor the situation and see how things go for the next couple of weeks with the animals. I mean, when you can count the ribs on, on dogs and, you know, uh, a couple of them, you could see that they were struggling physically. This is, you know, uh, you can see how the, 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 the back was really exposed and sticking up and things of that nature. So, uh, you know, as an animal lover, we, uh, you know, it just, it's just, it, it really bothers me. It's sickening uh, that, that, you know, you would let animals get to this point. Uh, we can do better here in Floyd County. I, 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 I'm constantly trying to keep people abreast of the animal situation here in Floyd County because we field probably 15 calls a day. We can't address every call. I have a guy that's full time, to be honest. If I had five guys working, I don't know that we could, we could take care of the situation. It's just super sad. Uh, you know, you, I've been doing this for six years now, and I'm, every day is the same, but it's so different, and you're always taken back by some of the conditions of the animals and their stories and where they come from and what their life is. But things affect dogs. Starvation, abuse, um, not only does it, affect them you know physically but mentally we get them shut down so I'm just taken back that these are somebody's dogs like these these have these four dogs had owners and they're starved to death and it's super sad and I hope that our community knows reach out we'll help you don't let your dog starve we'll do our best to work ways of getting your dog off of a chain I mean, there's so many people out there willing to help right now. Don't think that you have to go at it alone. Just call up to the shelter and ask for the manager. We'll get you food. We'll try to get you a kennel. We'll try to do whatever we need. We'll give you crates to put in your house during the winter time. So uh, just know that you're not alone out there. and Reach out for help. It's not, it's not bad to do that sometimes. If you have an animal that you can't take care of anymore, give us a call. We'll, we'll help you make arrangements to find a new home for the animal or get, to, get the animal to the animal shelter and try to find a home at that point. Please don't chain an animal up and not feed it. You know, that's just, that's inhumane.